Evening, I'm Ryan Yamamoto. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. A live look at the state capitol where Governor Gavin Newsom signed two bills aimed on cracking down on catalytic converter theft. KPI X5 Sarah Donchi spoke with a person who's experienced these types of thefts more than once. Well, it seems like at least every couple of days, people are going on social media and neighborhood groups online saying, my catalytic converter was stolen, can you help? Now the state of California says it is going to do just that. This is not how you want to start your day. Stolen catalytic converter, a trip to the mechanic, and thousands of dollars down the drain. Ginny Wong has done it twice. I just, I don't know, I'm very, I'm very um, frustrated with the situation. Uh, I don't drive my car anywhere um, in the city that I know. I, I, if I drive my car in the city and, and park it, it'll be like five minutes and I'm out. Um, I just don't trust I don't trust people anymore. Thieves took off with her Toyota Prius's catalytic converter once and lesson learned. She even shelled out $300 to install a protective shield to make sure it wouldn't happen again, or so she thought. I told my husband, park it somewhere safe, park it with it. <laughs> and he did, he parked it in a garage. You would think a UCSF or a general hospital garage would be safe. Nope. Not safe. We're going to get to the root cause, at least one of the root causes of this crime, and that's those brokers and those middlemen who pay top dollar for stolen parts. Now, Governor Newsom is touting two bills he signed into law that make it illegal to buy the parts from anyone other than a licensed dealer and dismantler. Catalytic converter thefts have increased tenfold since 2018, per the governor. The parts can be resold for hundreds of dollars because of the valuable metals they're made with. The new law will also require people who buy and sell them to keep detailed records of the transaction. You take away the market for stolen goods, you can help cut down on stealing. It's not much more complicated than that. The idea, make it less profitable to sell and therefore steal the parts. Ginny says she's skeptical it'll change much. It's just, I don't think it's going to solve anything. Um, until somebody actually cares. This new law says recyclers will also face fines if they are convicted of breaking the law, starting at $1,000, going all the way up to $4,000 if there are multiple convictions.